Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you had a great Christmas and uh, a great start to 2019. Mine was pretty shitty actually. I was ill for most of Christmas and New Year. So I spent most of the time in bed. So I've hardly done any playing. And as a consequence, my technique is a bit shitty at the moment. So I put together just this little um, sequence that will enable me to get my picking back up to scratch. Usually when I take breaks off guitar playing, my picking technique is the first technique that goes. So when I get back to it, what I usually do is try and work on my picking to get it back up to where it was. Hence this video. Um, hope you enjoyed that little lick at the start. That's exactly what we're gonna be working on today. That's taken from my Instagram feed, which I put up yesterday. And I had a lot of inquiries asking if I would be so kind as to break it down. So. Hence the reason I'm here. So I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing. Um, firstly, though, it's still 50% off my website. It's by far and away the best way to support what I do. Um, so I'll leave the link in the description box, as always. Make sure you check my website out and buy stuff from there, because it's a great way of supporting what I do and so that I can make more videos, more content for you guys. Okay, let's get straight to it. So we're going to start in D minor here. Okay, and we get a sequential pattern uh, that moves through two and a half, two and a half octaves, okay? Uh, so we're gonna start here, fret 10, and we start off with these three notes on the bottom E string. And then we're gonna go to the next string. So down, up, down, down, up, down. That's how I'm picking it. You can do it whichever way you want. Down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay then that brings us back to the start of the sequence. Then we can repeat it an octave higher. So. So you get the idea, nice and slowly. Okay, I'll explain that in a second. Just a point here. Be careful of this jump here with the index finger. Back here, it's only one fret, but you've got to accommodate for that nasty um, third tuning here between the G and the B. So we have to move up two frets. So once more. Okay, when we get to here, we're just gonna descend. Go back to the E and then descend, passing note here. Okay, then once we're here, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna descend through a straight ahead D minor arpeggio, arpeggio and then ascend through it again. So, uh, what I usually do as always is hammer on when I'm descending and then sweep when ascending. You know, you don't have to whack the hell out of the strings either when you do, when you're hammering on from nowhere. Just keep the movement nice and light. Make sure you get a good contact with the string and you should get a nice resonant loud note. Okay, so then we're gonna to descend to a C dominant seven arpeggio. Okay. And we're using the same technique. Okay. I always play these dominant seventh arpeggios. I love them. Um, so C seven. Then that little chromatic thing. And then down a tone to B flat, but this time we're gonna play diminished instead of. Instead of this. Um, okay, so. Sorry, it's B diminished, not B flat. And then down to E7. So what am I talking about, E7? A7. A 
and that takes us beautifully back to the D minor. So let me do that again without um, fluffing it. Okay, usually I just cram the notes in as quickly as possible, making sure that everything is clean, everything is controlled, and everything sounds good. That's the main thing that you want to be focusing on here. It's absolutely pointless trying to play it fast if it's a complete bloody mess. No point. So bring everything back, make sure everything's nice and controlled, you're controlling the movements, you're nice and relaxed. That's the way forward. So once we've done that and we've hit D minor, we've come full circle back to D minor, I play this little hybrid picking pattern. Okay, so what is that? Down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle. It's kind of just playing with this same pitch on different strings just to get a different tone. Okay. And we're just alternating with down and middle. Pretty cool little pattern there. And finally, I end with just a straight ahead. I haven't got 22 frets here. Arpeggio, uh, which I do a lot, maybe too much. Okay, that wraps up today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you practice nice and steady. Keep the control, keep nice and relaxed. Try and minimize the movement, use economy of motion, and try not to push it too quickly too soon. That certainly works for me anyway. Um, I spend a lot of time keeping things really, really slow and controlled before I, I really start pushing it. There comes a point where you have to test the water, so to speak, but um, I find what works for me is that I keep everything nice and controlled and work on that control rather than working on just the speed element of it. Anyway, that works for me. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Look out for more coming real soon. All right, cheers, guys.